Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our vocabulary. Today we will have our 88th lesson in the series of vocabulary words, day number 88. Let's get going, shall we? The words that we're going to learn today, the words that we're going to learn today, they all have to do with not being friendly. They all have to do with the fact that the person wants to fight, person wants to uh, argue, person wants to be unfriendly. Do you understand? If you want to fight, you're hostile, you're not friendly, those are the kind of words, all the words are going to be basically the same thing here. Those, the, the, the words that mean not to be friendly. But before we get into, before we get into what we have to do today, yesterday we had few words that cropped up on the blackboard and I told you to, that I will tell you, I told you that I will tell you today as to when we learned those words. So let's take, let's take care of them. Hunch, inkling, visceral. These three words you will find on day number 73. Today is day number 88. On day number 73 we learned this word hunch, inkling, something that is visceral. They all have to do with intuition. And the words that we were talking, and the word that we were talking about yesterday was counterintuitive. Counterintuitive means it goes against your gut feeling. It goes against your gut feeling. It goes against your hunch. It goes against your inkling. It's not. It's not visceral. You don't feel it in your guts. Do you understand? And then we had the word convention. Convention means tradition. Something that we learned on day number forty-six. And mores was something we learned on day number forty-five. Mores. Mores does not have singular, it, it has the S at the end, it doesn't have singular, that's all mores. The word in the singular form does not exist. Let's get going. The very first word having to do with not being friendly, wanting to fight. 464. 464. B, Lich, or Unt. Belligerent. Belligerent. It's an adjective. What does it mean if you describe someone as being belligerent? Michael is quite belligerent. It means he wants to fight. Wanting to fight. He is eager to fight. Eager. He's eager to fight. He's quite. He's quite aggressive. He's very belligerent. He's quite aggressive. The noun of belligerent would be. Belligerence. Belligerence. Again, be. Lige. Or. Uns. Belligerence. Let's move on then. Next word. The next word is Bell E Course. Course. Bellicose. What does it mean when we describe something as being bellicose? It means it's hostile. This word here is sometimes, some people pronounce it as hostile, as I just did, and some people pronounce it as hostile. They are both considered quite proper pronunciation. They are both considered correct pronunciations. Hostile or hostile? He's hostile. He's aggressive. He is aggressive. He's aggressive. I'm not sure if aggressive is one, one S or two S's. He's aggressive. He's warlike. He is. His attitude is warlike. He wants to engage in a war. He wants to engage in a fight. He wants to engage in a combat. He's quite combative. The noun of, noun of bellicose would be. The noun of bellicose would be. Cause 
E, T. Bellicosity. Bellicosity is the noun of bellicose. If somebody is bellicose, he has bellicosity. He has belligerence. He has aggressiveness. Let's move on. Next word we're going to learn is The next word we want to learn is Pug Ne Shush Pugnacious If you describe somebody as being pugnacious He wants to fight He's eager to fight he is eager to fight. He wants to fight. Wanting to fight. He's dying to fight. He's he's hostile. He is hostile. He is quarrelsome. Quarrelsome. Quar. Quarrelsome means exactly what it says. If you describe someone as being quarrelsome, it's because he wants to quarrel, he wants to fight, he wants to he wants to engage in hostility. He's not very friendly, he's very pugnacious, very hostile, very bellicose, very belligerent. I don't want to deal with him. I don't like his disposition, he doesn't have a friendly disposition, he's always quarrelsome, he's always argumentative, he's always bellicose, he's always belligerent. I don't like him. Let's move on. Next one. The next word we will learn is Contagious Con and contentious. Contentious. What does it mean when you describe somebody as being contentious? It means that he wants to engage in rivalry. He wants to engage in rivalry. He wants to engage in a competition. He wants to engage in a competition. He wants to compete with you. He's quite contentious. He wants to he wants to engage in a competition. He's striving. He's striving to win. Person is always striving to win. Person who is always trying very hard to win. That person is said to be very contentious. 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 Contentions. He's quarrelsome. Quarrelsome. It's one word. You understand? There is no space here. Quarrelsome. One word. The word contentious comes from, the word contentious comes from, and again I need the room so I'm going to erase everything. The word contentious comes from content with a D. This is strange. It comes from the word content, not content. Content with a D. Con the adjective is contentious with a T. It has two meanings. To contend means to, if you're contending for something, contend. If you're contending for something, this is something we have already learned on day number 71. Day number 70. It's not a new word. It's something we learned on day 71. That means you want to engage, you want to compete. You want to you want to compete. To, to why? To why? This is pronounced why. Again, why is something we learn on day number 70. You want to take a part in a competition to contend. And the person who wants to take, in a f uh, take part in a competition, person who wants to why, person who wants to contend, is called a contender. Uh -huh. Contender. 
tender. Contender. I remember, I remember when we learned the word content on day number 70, I remember, I think I shared with you a very famous line from a movie. I don't remember which movie it is, but it's a very famous line. I could have been somebody. I could have been a contender. I could have been a contender. Do you understand? What's the second meaning of the word? What's the second meaning to contend? If you contend, you want to assert your point. You want to, you want to assert your point. You want to assert your point in an argument. You want to assert your point in a discussion. You want to assert your point and in a situation where the other person doesn't seem to agree to assert your point, to maintain your point. You did not turn in your homework yesterday, did you? Oh yes sir, I did. I turned in my homework. See, I'm asserting. I am asserting. Or rather, I'm, I'm contending. I'm contending. I'm being contentious. I'm asserting my point. Assert, contend. To maintain your position, to maintain your right, to assert your position, to assert your points. Content. To say that what you're saying is true, what you're saying is valid. Did you, did you break that uh, uh, that plate? No, I did not. It was Michael who broke it. Not, it wasn't I. I did not do it. I, I, I contend that allegation. Do you understand? I did not do that. The noun of contend, the noun of contend would be. Contention and the synonym would be comes from here assert the synonym of assert would be but rather the noun of assert would be assertion oh sir you see how the pronunciation changes you see how the pronunciation changes assert Assert and the noun is assertion. It has no T sound in it. Even though there is a T there, there is no T sound in it. Assertion. 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 We learned one more word long time ago. Similar situation. The word was the word was insert. Insert means to put something in something. Insert. And the noun of insert when you when you insert something. You have made an insertion, 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 assertion, assert, assertion, insert, insertion. You see how parallel they are? That's all for today. Bye now.